Look at these people. Yeah, they're so upset about Ukraine. I'm sure their stupid looking outfits have nothing to do with why they're out there, right? Look, I painted my hand and put a seashell over my See how much I care? No war. I'm crying. Yeah, nothing says you're devastated like spending your entire day preparing for a fashion shoot on a sidewalk. What kind of people are these? No war in Ukraine. Now oh, that must be the vomit pail for everyone who sees through your bullshit. Well, that's one way to use the bloodshed of Ukrainians to get more followers on TikTok. Will you be doing a follow-up tutorial video for other aspiring mass murder makeup artists like yourself? I need help. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're posting vanity photos under Pray for Ukraine and every other hashtag you could think of that's related to war, I'm sure you do need help. At least you're aware you have a problem. I'll give you that. Can't say the same for this bozo. It's heartbreaking to hear what is going to happen. Yeah. Well, I'm scared of what's going to happen in, in Western Europe, too. Yeah. You know, you just you plan a trip. You want to go there. I want to go to Italy for four years. I haven't been able to make it because of, of uh, the pandemic. And now this. Yeah, distraught because she can't go on vacation now. You know, it's, yeah. it's like, who's going to what's going to happen there? You should call Ukraine and ask them to apologize for the inconvenience. Go for a cruise to the Bermuda Triangle instead. I'm sure they'd be glad to pay for it. Dear President Vladimir Putin. Now, this should be good. I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the story's plight, the world unfurled. Now, you gotta stop this. You, you really shouldn't have recorded this. I mean, did you think this was gonna fall into the category of doing something? I mean, what did you expect to accomplish by this? You think he's watching this in the war room like, Mama? I cannot believe I was born too late in a different place when I would have loved you so. Yeah. As I'm sure everyone, including me, is thinking about the situation in Ukraine, are you? Because right now you're showing us a photo of yourself that you're trying to pass off as you thinking about Ukraine when in reality it's you showing us your shitty tattoo. How do I know this? Because your arm is always positioned to perfectly display it in nearly every photo you take. Let's play finish the tone deaf virtue signal. As an effort to help people in Ukraine during the Ukraine invasion, I will be having A. Food and clothing donated to each region of Ukraine starting tomorrow. B. Charity event to raise money for the people of Ukraine. Or C. A sale on my OnlyFans at 50% off for everyone in Ukraine. Now, if you chose C, you'd be correct. You'd also be in the majority, considering most people know that people who take mirror selfies with their phone covering their face have yet to be documented contributing anything to humanity aside from promo codes and hard-ons. I've been avoiding posting on Instagram. No, you haven't. I feel guilty. No, you don't. I feel helpless. No, you don't. Friends and their families are going through the worst days of their lives right now. There's nothing I can do but support them the only way I know how to. By sharing a photo of my ass on vacation on a beautiful day. What an honorable thing to do. I'm sure when the people suffering see this, they'll thank you for sharing a photo of you doing absolutely nothing you just said in your caption. Make love, not war. Well, that's a wholesome moment. You make love with your kid in the bed? Huh. Well, if that's the case, I declare war against both of you until that kid's removed from your custody. What's wrong with you people? Ugh, it never ends. If you want more, the extended version is on the Patreon. And trust me, it gets worse. Oh, dear Mr. President Putin, if only I'd been your mother. Perhaps the torture of unwritten youth would not within your heart imbue a scription...